Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Now that Luffy's unlocked Gear 5th, this has made us fans extremely excited about what our favorite rubber captain is going to be able to do with this increase in strength and resistance and really just ability to shape his world around it. But despite being a stronger power, it still could have great evolutionary potential because it's still a new and unexplored power. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the great increases in power that Luffy could still end up getting. And we're talking about the kind of increases where he would have strength capable of not only surpassing Yonkos, but the admirals and definitively becoming the most powerful pirate, if not being in the One Piece universe. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it keeps motivating us to make more content. If you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with your friends. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, 5th Gear, also known as Gear 5th, depending on whether you watch the sub or the dub, without a doubt is one of the most extraordinary and powerful forms that Monkey D. Luffy has ever gotten a hold of. Now, even with all its incredible potential, it's still plausible to believe that this form has not yet reached its maximum potential. After all, Luffy's journey as one of the most legendary pirates on the seas is nowhere yet complete, and he's especially known for continuing to evolve and surpass his own limits again and again. Therefore, it's it's really possible that the Gear 5th transformation could still be improved or even be perfected through training and further experience. One of the reasons why we believe Gear 5th's transformation still isn't fully explored is Luffy's inexperience with it. Now, even during his battle with Kaido, which was absolutely epic, Luffy had to learn how to use this power in the heat of battle, which in and of itself is a remarkable feat. But when you think about it this way, because Luffy wasn't able to fully dominate Kaido when he turned into his Gear 5th transformation, that alone shows that there's plenty of room for Luffy to grow this transformation. So just like he was able to improve on Gear 2nd and Gear 3rd, I mean, he doesn't turn into a tiny little chibi form anymore, it's absolutely reasonable to expect that the same thing is going to happen with Gear 5th. Another factor that points to the possibility of improvement is just the mythical nature of Luffy's Devil Fruit. Now, no longer the Goma Goma no Mi, but mythical Zoan Fruit, the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika. And this awakened form, which Luffy has gotten access to, is described as being able Able to grant the user unprecedented strength and flexibility, and even the Gorosei called it the most ridiculous power in the world. But here again, we come to that point where Devil Fruits can be explored, improved, and absolutely this has got to be true for Gear 5. I mean, Luffy could learn to better control the extent of his malleability, or even target specific places in his environment, utilizing this to a much higher strategic level. On top of that, there may be other latent abilities that Gear 5 has that Luffy hasn't tapped into yet. And as we saw in the battle with Kaido, Luffy was eventually able to affect the temperature around him in pretty surprising ways. I mean, he was even able to stretch surfaces and materialize objects from his flaming hair. So if he continues to explore these untapped abilities, he could absolutely unlock new techniques and abilities that would make him all the stronger in battle. But we also have to imagine that any improvement that he's going to make on Gear 5th is not going to be an easy journey. I mean, as we've seen in both the manga and the anime, it takes a huge amount of energy for Luffy to sustain and we've seen him incredibly exhausted after its use. So he might need to train and strengthen his body or his mind to withstand whatever wear and tear that Gear 5th or even beyond could place on his body. And there's another level that we also have to consider is the emotional challenges associated with having an awakened Zoan fruit and the fact that it could alter his mind. And this means that Lufa could maybe even become Nika or embody a lot more of his personality. And we don't still know much about the mythical nature of this sun god Nika, and this could actually be a potentially dangerous element. But then again, Luffy's always demonstrated a pretty incredible willpower throughout his journeys, and this might be that thing where he has to really embody the absolute personality of Nika, but still being himself, because we still don't know the full extent of the effects of an awakened Zoan fruit. Because of the seeming connection to the former Joy Boy from the Void Century, one of the keys to further unlocking Gear 5th could actually be in its understanding understanding of the origin and purpose of the sun god Nika throughout the ancient history. So maybe if Luffy can delve a little bit deeper into history and then the mythology behind the fruit, he'll be able to unlock new powers and prevent the awakening form from completely overtaking him. And finally, the other area where Luffy is going to have to perfect is his application of hockey when in this form. Now, in Gear 5th, sure, he has a lot of power, he has that strength and malleability, but just think about what Kaido said during their fight. Hockey is the thing that a 
allowed Roger to conquer the Grand Line. So no matter how ridiculous Luffy gets, and how much he can bend and sway and even pull on nature itself, Luffy is gonna have to have hockey to be able to face all those challenges that still lie ahead of him on the Grand Line. And speaking of what lies ahead of him, we also have to consider the crew element and collaboration with other allies. So as Luffy's power grows significantly, those around him might feel like they have to step up their game too. And he's also going to be able to maybe pull in different combination attacks with Zoro and Sanji and even Jinbei and anybody else that's on the crew. And this may further amplify the power of Gear 5th because there have been things said about the heartbeat and how it inspires those around them. So perhaps even his allies will see a boost in their own abilities just because they're going into battle with Luffy. But as exciting as all this is, we have to remember that this kind of stuff takes patience and resilience and, you know, arcs for Luffy to learn different facets of. So we're going to have to see all these different ways that Luffy might still gain this improvement. Because if he really achieves that title of Pirate King, that title needs to be unshakable. So because Luffy isn't currently the Pirate King and still has quite a bit of adventure lying ahead of him, that means he also is going to have a bit of a journey with Gear 5th. Because it can't just be it now. There still has to be some struggle and learning and unlocking new forms and reaching other levels of power. Because as we and other people in the community have said, we don't know if where Gear 5th is, is Luffy's hybrid form. Because remember that a Zoan has those three different forms, kind of your base, your hybrid, and then full animal form. So what if Luffy has a whole other level of abilities to unlock still? So as Luffy moves forward in the journey, he's likely to run into other people who could be his mentors or former mentors, because we could see him easily running into Rayleigh, and he could even get training from Shanks after they finally have their big meetup. And this would give him an even greater understanding and maybe even thoughts on the nuances of Gear 5th. With that guidance, Luffy might even be able to find new ways of incorporating Gear 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, making it much easier to slide smoothly in between each form, making it just a more fluid system for Luffy to use as he needs where he needs. And of course, one of Luffy's greatest strengths is his creative and adaptive way of fighting his different enemies, because he always comes up with different combinations where he's copying people or, hey, that seems like a good idea. And as we see him further develop Gear 5th, this also means that he might have different combinations become a bigger part of his set of techniques. Considering all the different facets we've just talked about, we could see that this whole journey with Gear 5th is going to involve physical, technical, and possibly even emotional challenges for Luffy. Considering what we've seen so far, we've seen Luffy's personality amplify, but we also don't know how much he might be losing himself to that actual transformation. So Luffy's willpower and his unwavering desire to protect his friends are going to be crucial elements to his growth because Luffy doesn't want to lose himself and enter a state where he disregards all of his friends. But with time, maybe a little guidance and help from his friends, and of course, all of that wonderful lore and legend and story that we're going to learn through the Ponoglyphs as well, all of that will probably shape Luffy and show him what destiny still lies ahead of him. Not only to become the King of the Pirates, but what he might be able to bring to the world after he gains that title. So as we fans sit back and watch this absolute wonderful journey of self-discovery and growth and also overcoming some pretty impossible challenges now that we know the size of what Luffy is going to be up against. It's still going to be exciting to watch him explore his awakened form and learn all about the different things that have happened in the world with the last person that owned that fruit. So for now, all we fans can do is wait to see what Oda Sensei is going to bring to the page and see how this absolutely wonderful story unfolds. So now, let us know what you think about it. How do you think Luffy is going to grow and change as he learns more, and do you think he's going to just improve with the different cartoony applications of the rubber world and everything else he's got going, or is there still yet another tier for Luffy to unlock as he grows in his fruit? Let us know what you think about that and all your other ideas in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Make sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos, and also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.